Welcome everyone to CW Live. I'm Natasha Nicholson, Executive Editor of IABC's magazine, Communication World, and I'm happy to welcome you to this video chat of CW Live. Today I'll be talking with Kurt Sorensen, a presenter at IABC's upcoming World Conference in New York. Kurt is a CEO and intranet consultant at Intrateam AS in Michigan, Denmark. I don't know if I said that correctly. And he'll be leading an internet digital workspace navigation where he will provide tools to create entries um, that appeal to the C-suite and will help participants identify and address their biggest internet challenges. Welcome, Kurt. Thank you very much. Thank you. So let's start here. Uh, your session uh, at the World Conference will focus on digital internal communications. What are the benefits of an internet um, and in today's world, and what types of companies should use them? Well, I think I think everybody, every company more or less should use them, uh, depending on not not even even depending on size, because I think a, a company of four people can, can benefit from an internet uh, as I see it. It's just a matter of how much money you put into it. So, uh, so I think Yammer is, is a great tool for smaller companies. So, so I think every company uh, should, should should use an internet to, to communicate on, or, or any type of social platform to do it. So, so, uh, and and the benefits that people can have from coming to uh, to my session is that I'm going to focus on how you can make an internet where, first of all, you you, you get the benefits from from the C or the to get the, ben the support. What I mean, the support from the C level because you. You're going to have some goals for your internet uh, that are a little bit different than, than most communicators have for them. I think you, you need to have some goals that, are, that appeal a little more to the C suite. And then basically, what I'm going to do in, in the session is I'm going to I'm going to show a way to to get your navigation much better uh, in a way that 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 you um, that you use you you user centric in, in the way that you build your your, your navigation. See, much, much too often we see that that internets are built from, from where where the internet managers think that they know what their users want, and 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 it's shown time after time that they haven't really got a clue, or, or, or they there's, there's no way they can do it. So so we need to focus on on the users building the navigation, and I've got some great tools. Uh, which I've uh, I've learned from from great people like James Robertson and Jerry McGovern and uh, who are who great uh, gurus in, in in the internet world. And I'm also going to focus a little bit more about the digital workplace, which is what we we started to talk about in the in the internet industry, if you could call it like that. Uh, we're talking a lot about the digital workplace, which is 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 more than just an internet communication. So so uh, that's uh, that's what I'm gonna. Thoughts on in my session. So, can you give us some examples of companies whose internets have been successful, and what are they doing uh, to make things go well? Well, uh, it's a user-centric uh, approach, uh, to be quite honest. Because the thing is, when when you get on an internet and, and 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 there's no way you can find what you're looking for, then you don't come there too often, do you? Um, and 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 so so basically, you, you need to be able to to have a navigation that people easily can find what they're looking for. And 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 search is, is the second thing that, that, that we see a lot of companies are struggling with and, and and they're usually struggling with it because there's much too much content uh, on their internet which is outdated or, or yeah just simply not updated and 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 there's no there's there's, there's not much fun uh, searching and, and, and finding old stuff that, that you can't use for anything. And, and actually one of the worst things that can happen is that people are searching for information on an internet and they find information, they believe it's right, but in the end it turns out that it's o old and, and, and completely wrong. So people act on, on wrong information and we see that a lot of times uh, over and over again. And, and that's, 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 that's one of the things that that happens to internet is that that gets too much crap on them. So, so, so really, you need to you need to, to focus on getting rid of the old and crappy stuff. That way, you are also going to improve on your search. Um, but, but again, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to focus on the navigation, how to build this navigation, which is which is a big challenge to a lot of people because there's a lot of stakeholders in doing that, and you need some tools 
with some kind of show, uh, the attendees, uh, some tools that 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 you can uh, you can sort of um, that that it's going to make it robust and 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 that you're going to prove to somebody who says that we the navigation needs to be like this. You know, you need a tool and, and ways to prove to people that that's wrong, and. and and, and you need to do it before you get live because obviously you can prove it when you get live because you can do user testing on a live internet but but then it, you might have lost people because if they've come there a few number of times and they haven't found anything they can use for anything then then they're gone and, and away so so uh, so um, that's uh, I think that's the answer to that question so building on that, what are some problems that can occur when choosing or building an internet program? What are some pitfalls to avoid? Well, yeah, well, I will say I have mentioned the navigation as one and, and search is another one. Uh, the other thing is the ownership, who, who's going to own the, the internet. And, and I think nowadays, there's a, at least in Denmark, uh, where I'm from, there's a there's a great uh, there's, there's start to to uh, uh, to be a movement where the ownership of the internet are moving away from from communications and 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 internets are turning into the digital workplaces which are partly owned in IT because there's, it's going to be a platform and it's not only news that gets on there or or, or the social tools it's 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 also the business tools that are being sort of built on integrated into the into the into the internet so 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 that's that, that's a huge challenge and, and who's going to own it and 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 we see large companies where where communication simply nowadays give up uh, the, the the struggle to to uh, with the internet and 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 because they're getting uh, technically and, and more complicated to work with because it's not just uh, like up downloading a, a news article, uh, like in a, in a simple WordPress thing, you you need to do it perhaps on SharePoint, which is a, a lot more complicated to work with. But SharePoint has a lot of other uh, advantages. But um, but that's that's not appealing to communication to people because they're they're there to write or communicate. That that's what they love and want to do, and they're they're, they're not to struggle with technical uh, bits and pieces. Uh, yeah. So so. So one of the, the huge big uh, pitfalls is, is, is really the ownership of the internet. Who, who's going to own it? And, and 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 then again, who's 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 going to be in charge of the front page of the internet? Is the front page of the internet is is, is that going to be news? Uh, well, Shell Hawks uh, said that at our conference two years ago. It's uh, it's uh, and, and we had a, a marvelous discussion. Uh, um, on, on the conference about what what to be on front of the the homepage of the internet, and, and Shell was of that clear understanding that, that that was more or less only news. But but we're now seeing navigation and, and key figures, and we're seeing uh, tools that people are going to use uh, uh, getting on, on on the front page of the internet or the homepage. We we have internets in in Denmark where where news have been moved away. It's it's, it's in a tap because people come so. Office to the front of the to the homepage of the uh, the internet because they they need to go look for for other tools and other things which are integrated in this digital workplace that that they uh, that they that they don't want to see the same news uh, article over and over and over again 50 times during the day so so they, this way news only comes up perhaps in the morning and, and then afterwards the second time you you, you come on the internet on the same day. That they are they simply just stop away in a tab. So if you want to see if there's any news, you you just click on the tab. But but the homepage is is, is tools and and, and 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 things that are going to make the, the the work easier for for, for the employee. So so that's uh, uh, yeah. So you've provided some ideas around this already, but taking it a bit further, often the biggest challenge with internets is simply getting people to use them. And so can you share some tips how communicators can not only successfully launch a program, but also maybe even just boost activity for a program that already exists? Well, again, first of all, I would say if they, if they can find what they're looking for, but that, that, that's the key uh, on my speak. Uh, so so that, that's what people can come here that. But, but uh, on top of that, I, it's, it's got to be appealing to people. 
I mean, it's uh, often seen in, in, in huge uh, international companies is that everything is written in English. You try to communicate to some uh, blue-collar workers in China uh, who don't understand or don't speak a word of uh, English. You need to, to sort of translate it into, into uh, the local language if, if you want people to understand the message. I think it's, it's, it's pretty basic, but, but, uh, but I see too many uh, big companies who are, who are just simply saying and, and to be saying that uh, uh, English is, is, is our uh, it's our basic language uh, or, or the corporate language, uh, yeah. and, and that's the end of story. So, but but, but even if it's if it's if it's English uh, uh, all over, then then you might still communicate in a different way. So it's going to be a, a certain distance to people. So 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 if you want people really to to use the internet, uh, then then basically the news has got to be appealing. And, 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 and not be like drinking uh, water from a, from a fire hose that when news are coming uh, all over them that, that you could read the news uh, that, 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 that produced more news than, than, than you can actually read so, so, so targeting the, the, the communication and the tools and, and the internet is, is, is another challenge uh, that's out there but, but, but if, you, if you're having adding Collaboration, which is which is again not a responsibility of, of, of a communicator, uh, as I know of it anyway. Um, then then col adding collaboration to your uh, to your internet is is, is gonna uh, is another challenge. That, that where's responsibility for collaboration gonna lie? Uh, I, I don't I don't see many communicators who's gonna say, hey, I, I would love that challenge to try to get collaboration going in uh, in a huge company. I mean that's that's a huge and a big challenge, and and most of them we we, we shine and say, hey, I'm 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 I have enough. I'm, I'm a communicator. I'm 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 communicating. I'm, let somebody else deal with that. And and uh, but but if you can get collaboration up and running and, and have that as part of the internet, one one Danish company called Kobe uh, won an, uh, an award for 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 actually uh, for having collaboration. So you can see which team rooms, uh, team sites you were part of, or projects you were part of, as as a as a thing on, on as, as a part of the, the home page of the internet. So so that that people come there when they work on their projects and their team sites, then that's the way uh, they go. And they they don't go into a separate system because if they go into a separate system. There's there's a limit to how many systems we we can log on to. So if you have Yammer, you go on Yammer and yeah, and you go in your project room and you go in email and then you, I ah, also have to go on on the internet. So, so that's the reason why you, why you need to have Yammer, and it is going to be integrated in most internet or, uh, because Microsoft bought them. But, but, yeah. and it's going to be part of SharePoint. But, but, uh, but, but the more the more tools you you can fit on the on the on the homepage the, of the internet, the more chances there are that, that people are going to are going to use this system. And if you have, I don't know how many systems people have. But at, at Danish, Danish municipality has about 220 systems. Not, not that everybody uses 220 different systems, but I'm just sort of trying to say that that, that segments and these these systems into so that that depending on which part department you're working in and, and what you're doing, that 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 you only get the systems that you really need. So so you might get 10, uh, which is easier to, to look over. So. Um, and then, and then the other thing is, there's a, you, you, need, you need to get it, get it going. And, and, and if it's not going, then, then you need to. I, I don't know how it is in the U.S., but, but, in, but in Denmark, we've see, we've seen several companies where they said to the, to the, to the management that, that please close your eyes because the next three or six months on the internet is going to be uh, something you you won't believe has to do with business. But, 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 but that's fun. That jokes. That's jokes. And that's. Uh, well, the, the canteen menu on the front of the of the internet because we need to get people coming there. We need to build up the habit that people come to the internet uh, once uh, once every day, at least once every day. So, so there needs to be something for them uh, that's appealing to them, and and and, there's, and, and that the internet is going to help them do that job quicker or, or, or easier uh, because if if it's not doing that, it's more complicated. Then, then people will seek other ways. I mean, that's, uh, in, in my opinion, as simple as that. So, so, so we need an internet that's, that's appealing to people, that, that helps them do their job quicker and faster, and, and it also needs to build community, I mean, and, 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 and collaboration. 
and, and these are parts of social social tools are gonna are gonna be there so so you can ask a question you can get a help from from one of your colleagues but you don't get help from any colleagues if they're not on the system so so you need to, there's a tipping point um, and I think it's uh, in, in, in where you um, where it's on implementing systems to get people to use them. you need to you have the innovators which are pretty easily picking up on any any system anything they want anything and 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 then you have the early adopters which are about 12 and a half percent of, of, of the user size and, and and then you have two percent for the early adopters so when you're about 13 14 percent you, you get those people to use it then you get into the early majority uh, which are at the next 30 uh, percent or something like that and when, when you get them going but but you only get these people going when they see what's in it for me is there anything in it for me and 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 what could be in it is that the, if the early adopters and, and the innovators are there then they also uh, want to be there but there has to be a certain amount of people and a, a certain amount of, of, uh, of things going on there and, and it needs to appeal to them then there's there's got to be a good reason for coming there and if there isn't any good reason why should they come there and, and, and sorry to say there are too many intranets out there that are simply not good enough so uh, there's a lot to do but uh, I, I think we're on our way but, yeah. well thank you so much for sharing some of these valuable tips this advice and very much looking forward to your session at the conference